TFT Kingdom and welcome back to our weekly update video where we will go over how our traders did for the week, our top five earners, and macroeconomic events to look out for next week. All right, let's get into it. Also, we have found out that most of our watchers are not subscribers. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell. Hit the like. Go ahead and drop a comment. You know what I'm saying? Give us the love. All right, let's get into it. Last week, as per usual, was a battle for our traders. And the magic number for our total payouts for the week was $382,734.69. Our top five traders for the week. Trader number one coming in at $50,138.76. They were trading on a $100,000 account and they made 50% profit. Trader number two coming in at $66,236.26. Trading a 200K account, making 33% profit. Trader number three, coming in at $69,759.86, trading on a 400K account, making 17% profit. Trader number two, coming in at $102,225, trading on a 400K account, making 26% profit. And our number one trader, coming in at $170,484.36, trading on a 600K account, making 28% profit. Huge shout out to all of our traders this week. All right, moving on to some of the data. Let's see how many lots we traded. This is a big number we're coming in at. 466,283.82 lots. The best pair was the AUD USD and the worst pair being the GBP JPY. All right, on the calendar for next week, some things we need to look out for. Okay, looking out for July 19th, we've got in the UK, the core inflation rate. In the United Kingdom, the core inflation rate tracks changes in price that consumers pay for a basket of goods, which excludes some volatile price items. The forecast is 5.8% and the previous was 5.9%. Let's take a look at July 20th. In Japan, interest rates are set by Bank of Japan's policy board in its monetary policy meetings. The BOJ's official interest rate is the decision rate. Monetary policy meetings produce a guideline for money market operations in intermeeting periods, and this guideline is written in terms of a target for the uncollateralized overnight call rates. The forecast is negative 0.1%, and the previous is negative 0.1%. And lastly, let's take a look on July 21st at the EBC press conference in the Euro area. In the Euro area, benchmark interest rates is set by the governing council of the European Central Bank. The primary objective of the ECB's monetary policy is to maintain price stability, which is to keep inflation below but close to 2% over the medium term. In times of prolonged low inflation and low interest rates, ECB may also adopt non-standard monetary policy measures, such as asset purchase programs. The official interest rate is the main refinancing operations rate. The forecast is 0.25%. Previous is 0%. Remember, TFT team, it is important to stay up to date on all current events as it may affect your trading significantly. That's it for this week's update. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content. And you can head over to our website, thefundedtraderprogram.com, to join a challenge. Or feel free to message support if you have any questions. Our support team is online 24-7 and ready to help you. Best of luck this week to you guys.